Okay, so now we've got the machine spun around so we can see the back here uh, where the electrical and the hydraulics are. And you can see both upper and lower panels come off. Uh, just again, it's the two uh, screws there with the key and they pop right out, real easy to get at. Uh, you can look at and see. So we have all of the electrical on the top here and the hydraulics are kind of on the bottom and come up the side here. Uh, very easy to get at. Uh, here's our 12 volt supply for controlling the power of the machine and the solenoids. Uh, any relays for switching things on and off, uh, fuses here, circuit breaker here, so all that's really easy to get at if there's ever anything you needed to do. Uh, filter here for filtering the oil that comes out of the pump before it goes to our solenoid under test. A uh, little drive here that controls uh, the motor for the pump. Uh, you can see the different hydraulics here, transducer, there's one here, and there's one up here, our input output pressure. Most of that stuff you really wouldn't have to service. The only thing back that it's really you'd be doing any service on would be changing and cleaning the filter. Um, everything else you wouldn't have to, but uh, I've been uh, at more than one shop where they had, had something like lightning has hit the building and has taken on parts and, and machines, you know, and you're not going to run around every night and unplug everything in the entire building. Uh, so that does happen from time to time. Uh, so in the event that that would happen, if there was lightning to hit the building and damage the machine, you can see that this is all real easy to get at. Uh, we could walk you through, you know, replacing any of it. Uh, one of the other nice features is definitely, you know, coming off the pump and going into these things here are, you know, pressure rated hoses. You know, these aren't uh, plastic or anything like that. They're regular hydraulic hoses with crimped ends on. And then all of this plumbing in here is all steel plumbing. So uh, designed to handle the pressure the machine is going to be under and, and is really good practice for that. You know, there's other machines out there that use plastic line that will go up to be 300 psi, but you're really kind of pushing, especially when you start getting into the temperatures, uh, you elevate that temperature, you know, is that plastic line really rated for that? So this machine is really laid out and designed with the real purpose of doing solenoid testing. And I think you can see it's done real well, a lot of electrical, you know, connections to our uh, control box would be on the back here, come right around here. And it's two screws that hold that control box on, so it's real easy to take it off uh, if you need to get at it. So serviceability on this machine is really excellent in my opinion. Um, and so that's kind of, yeah, basics on the back there. Uh, I think uh, one other thing, our power comes out on the back here, goes out to your plug, so that's all on the back side. You don't have cords coming up in the front anywhere where you don't want them to be. So uh, again, that's kind of just an overview on the back side of the machine and kind of Anything you'd need to get in and in at, you know, the biggest things you'd have to probably do for service would be changing the filter, and then over here is the outlet from the tank for when you want to drain your tank uh, and replace the fluid in there. So there's a little ball valve in there and the cap on the bottom here, dig it into it. So other than that, there's really not a lot else in there as far as maintenance on it. It's mainly just that you can get at that for serviceability in the event you would need to.